Philadelphia, a proud blue-collar city. The city of brotherly love. A city where people are proud to say, I'm from Philly. A city steeped in rich history. Where walking around Old City, around every block, you'll find something interesting, remarkable, and landmarks which set the foundations for Philadelphia and America. Philadelphia is one of the most walkable cities in America. City Hall in the middle, where William Penn watches over the city he founded. The centre of City Hall, where Market Street meets Broad Street. Love Park, where the portal connects Philly to cities around the world. The five squares in Philadelphia's centre city, which reflect the city's rich history. Philadelphia is a massively underrated city, and I'll forever fight this point to anyone who disagrees. Philadelphia is in fact a beautiful city, a beautiful skyline, beautiful to walk around. Run up the rocky steps and take in the glorious view, or follow the Schuylkill Trail past Boathouse Row and through the stunning beauty of Fairmont Park up to Valley Forge. Or take the trail to South Street Bridge, one of my favourite places, to see the skyline and take in the views. Walking down Broad Street, the Avenue of Arts, is always fun. So many theatres, restaurants and hotels galore, with the wonderful backdrop of City Hall. Philly is such a pretty city at night, the skyline lighting up the sky, Boathouse Row illuminates the Schuylkill, and the city really comes alive. With a real mix of pubs, clubs and proper dive bars, this city's a fun night out always to be had. Centre City is a great place to eat out too. San Pan Elva is highly recommended. Or a pint in Philly's oldest pub, McGillan's. You can't not come to Philly and visit Awawa. Reading Terminal Market is a must for any visitor to Philly. All foods catered for and a great place to get the famous Philly cheesesteak. Philly is famous for its murals all over the city. Poignant and passion screaming off the walls. There's over 4,000 murals spread across this city. It's the mural capital of the world. It's sporting heroes and history edged on the walls, forever to be seen and remembered. My favourite Philly's one here being at 24th and Walnut Street. I love walking around these little cobbled quiet streets too, usually nestled between the bustling blocks. A throwback and a nod to the historic residential area of Philly and how they used to be. Walking down Philly's famous South Street is always fun too. Home to plenty of quirky independent stores and of course Jim Steaks, a place I highly recommend for your cheesesteaks. Down the old city end of South Street you'll find some great little bars and restaurants with some great views. South Philly is without a doubt one of my favourite places to visit and stay. Bog Bar is a great place to grab a drink and take in the panoramic views. Pashyunk Ave, the home of Pats and Geno's, a garage bar, great place to drink it down. Take a walk down South Philly's hustling Italian market and you'll get to Angelo's, one of the most highly recommended places to grab a pizza or a cheesesteak, or get a coffee outside the singing fountain in Pashyunk Square. South Philly and Pashyunk is home to lots of family-run shops and businesses, and lots of fantastic little cafes and dive bars. You also get a very strong community feel walking around South Philly. Another place to go if you want your authentic dive bar, tavern and diner experience is Fishtown, always a good time to be had. And a short walk from the up and coming Northern Liberties, a small town growing in itself, with some of the city's best breweries and pubs in town. But there's one thing that unites this city and brings people together more than anything, and that's sport. Sport runs through the veins of this city and spreads across the world. It's a religion. It's a passion like no other. No one does sport quite like Philly. This complex, a sporting mecca for many. In the middle of it all, Xfinity Live, an incredible dining entertainment complex which can host thousands. A great place where fans come together before and after a game to commiserate or celebrate. Or at Chicky and Pete's too around the corner. I can never not smile and get that tingle when coming here on game day, whether it be for the Flyers or the Sixers or the Phillies or Eagles. 
This same passion for Philadelphia and its sports is felt across the world. Many traveling thousands of miles just to be here for one game, to feel it, to experience it. It's more than just a game day. It's a day out to see old friends, to make new. Every single person proudly repping their Philly sports colors. It doesn't matter who you are or where you're from. If you're repping Philadelphia, you're one of us. We've got the best mascots in all of sport, the most passionate fans in all of the land. Sometimes we're misunderstood. Philly sports can hurt us to the core, but also give us the highest of the highs. It's a never ending roller coaster, but we wouldn't have it any other way. There's nowhere like Philadelphia when its sports teams are in playoffs. And the way the city comes together to celebrate. And this is felt with the players who represent and play for this great city. They can feel it too. Nowhere else do the players and fans come together so much. It's a passion that's so infectious. That's why I love Philly and call this John my second home.